Hey, this is Matt. Once again, what about to another video? This is another paid request. This time for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, topics, commenters, reactions, uh, whatever it may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for South Park episode season eight, episode ten and twelve. Now. I would say these episodes I did enjoy. Episode 10 especially. Episode 12, it was alright. But episode 10, I did like the, the story of it. Because it's about the kids enjoying their school time. And then they find out that this guy is getting out of juvie and it's a bully from preschool. And... It goes to a flashback, and the kids are actually voiced by actual little kids. It's not Trey Parker or Matt Stone. It's actually little kids. I thought that was a cute decision. And it was cool to see a preschool versions of these characters and that type of voice work. What had happened was the kids had told this bully, Hey, can you make a fire? We want to play fireman. We'll put it out. He does it. They don't know how to put it out. They think putting out is by pissing on it. It obviously doesn't work. So then the bully tells him, well, put him out. Oh, uh, we don't know. So the teacher gets, tries to put it out, and then she gets on fire. And then when the authorities come, they, the kids put all the blame on this bully. So he goes to juvie. It's been now five years. He's out, and he wants revenge. Um, Butters... He didn't say anything, so he gets punished, put in the hospital. The teacher nowadays, remember Star Trek with Christopher Pike when he was burnt up and he was in that chair, the one, two beeps. They put that into it. The kids want protection. I do like the bit where they teach them about protection and then Carbon blurts out. Our condoms don't help us, Kyle. <laughs> and then he yells it out and everybody looks at him. He's like, <laughs> but how the hell do you know about that? I thought that was a funny bit. And they decided to get help from the sixth graders. Then the sixth graders get put in the hospital. And the, th the reason they help is that they want a picture of Stan's mom's boobs. So they fake it by having Cartman's ass and they put nipples on it, like drawn up, and they take a picture and the sixth graders believe it. But again, they get beaten up. And then the bully goes after our four lead characters and Cartman has a taser. I do like the animation and the, the framing when Cartman's like, don't test me. I like this kind of look, the scare look Carbon has when he's got the taser up. I, I don't know, something about that that made me smirk and, and chuckle. And they burn the... They actually burn the teacher up again. And the teacher, with the beeps, tries to tell who did it. But the cops, of course, are too stupid. And the kids, not learning anything, they blame <laughs> the, the juvie kid again. And the kid gets... Came back to Juvie again. That everything's fine and the sixth graders, because Carbon's booning him and the sixth graders see it. And then they just go, boobs, boobs. And they pick up Carbon, take him away. And he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And it cuts away. And then Carbon's the type of guy that you know, gets what he deserves, so to speak. And yeah, I thought it was fun to see, like, a bully. Tis, I try to remember a lot of times if the kids dealt with other type of bullies. Not too much. I mean, there's Stan's sister. There's a little bit of that. And there's a point they even tried to get Stan's sister to help him out. Weren't really bullies, but there was an episode with the Lord of the Rings thing where the kids were trying to get the, the videotape back. I think he also had the sixth graders. Oh, another fun bit is that they, they have bicycles, but they try to make them sound like motorcycles, so they go vroom, vroom, vroom on their bicycles. I thought that was a funny bit. 
I say it was interesting to see a flashback to see these kids, preschoolers, using actual kids as voices. I thought that was cute. It went at a fast pace. It was entertaining, and I thought, yeah, I didn't really have many issues with it. Like I said I liked the story of it. Episode twelve, it's pretty much a bit old f you to Paris Hilton, which I can't really blame him for that. Where pretty much she comes into town, and opens up the store. Called Stupid Spoiled Whore. If it's not blunt enough, I don't know how more blunt you can get it. And, you know, someone even asked, well, what does she do? Oh, she does that. But what does she actually do, Paris Hill? What does she actually do? I'm like, that's a good question. You say the same thing for the Kardashians. What do they actually do? And so the little girls want their parents to buy them stuff in order to be stinks, just like Paris Hilton. And they want to be spoiled whores too. And Wendy thinks it's stupid, understandably so, but then she wants to fit in, so she tries to join in. And there's perfumes called Stink. There's the video playset. And they have a song, You Defilb Your Own Sex Tape. Which, of course, this can only be done with South Park and animation, because these are underage kids. So it's, it's meant to be, you know, disturbing, but again, it's so off the wall and it's so ridiculous and because it's animated that it, they're able to make it work for what their satire is going on about. And it's for a, me you know, a good message, like parents teach your kids who to look up to. You gotta make sure to keep at least a little bit of leash, a little bit of of parenting on who do these kids look up to, who do they strive to be, who do they take for recognition of who's a good role model, who's not a good role model. Like parents, you know, be a fucking parent. Stop having your thumb up your ass and watching TV. Actually do the parenting thing. And if you don't want to do that, then don't be a parent in the first place. Fuck, pull out then and go it on the back or the crack. We can't fucking do it. I did enjoy the subplot where Paris Hilton had all these pets and this little cute dog, he like grabs a gun and is trying to kick the trigger and actually does kill itself. And then she needs another pet and she sees these butters. And even the chauffeur's like, uh, Paris, this is a child. I don't care. I want to, this kid. And so she's trying to buy the kid from the parents. I thought that was a fun subplot for Butters. But as I've said before, Butters has definitely become a favorite character of mine. So it's always nice to see him implement into the story. It does go on also to the stupidity of how people make their arguments in situations like this. Oh, if a man wants to be a whore, it's normal. But if a woman does it, she's wrong. And I'm like, yeah, that does seem like really stupid fucking arguments that would be labeled to support crap like this. So I do, I did like that bit. I thought they got that right. And I thought this message was in the right place. And, like, you have little kids, but yet they're talking like they're slutty adults as the kids' boys walk by. I thought it was the right decision that the boys, they kind of confuse about this, and they're not really sure. And even during the party, the boys are running away. Because they're boy, oh, cooties, you know, that type of stuff. I, my favorite bit is the bit with Cartman. I thought this was funny, where, where the kids are... The little girls are talking with all of these boys going by in the hallway. Carbon's like listening. And then he decides to stroll by. Hey ladies. And then you see him come back the other way but closer to the camera. Then he goes back in and he tries to do it again. And he's like, yes Carbon, I would like you to come to our party. 
And then he stops, he looks at him and goes, Oh yeah? Well, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Annie. Fuck you, whatever your name is. And fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it reminds me of that bit in Half-Bait. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. You're okay. Uh, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> I did think that was rather funny. That's my favorite bit in the episode. And so Wendy doesn't know what to do. She goes to see Mr. Garrison, or really her his boyfriend, who's Mr. Slave. And he decides to help her out and go have a whore off with Paris Hilton, which he wins. But then, you know, he tells the parents, again, parents... Watch what your kids watch and see and who they look up to. And the way I took it, be a fucking parent. God forbid. <laughs> and then it ends with Paris Helen up Mr. Slave's ass. And then you have a, a call back to that fraud prince thing. This like weird tangent they had. I forget what episode it was, but it was this weird tangent of... I probably was with Mr. Slave as well, and this little creature going through this journey to get out of it and escape. Maybe, was it with Mr. Slave? I can't remember, but... I can't remember what it was from, but... I did think it was funny they did a call back to that, like one of the weirdest tangents that they had on the show. But it was a tangent I remember enjoying when I first saw it. I, mean, I forget what episode it was. But they bring that back. So overall, I would say I liked both of these episodes. Episode 10, like, I liked the story of the bully coming back. Like, a little bit of the... I'm surprised they don't... They didn't try to do too much in the Cape Fear territory. Like, just because the Simpsons had done a lot of that. With Sideshow Bob. I just, maybe they thought it'd be a bit too obvious. But yeah, episode 10, I like the story. And episode 12, I like the message. So one, I like the story. One, I like the message. And both had funny bits with it and some decent bits with Butters. And I did, Carmen actually got some laughs out of me. Because there was a while where I'm like, man, Carmen is such a despicable person that you hate him. But again, this... I wouldn't say they toned him down, but... I see he has gotten some chuckles out of me, I will admit. Some of his bits were the highlights in both of these episodes, which was nice to see. So. Yeah, South Park is definitely an interesting show, to say the least. Like I said, usually I'm against them just going after celebrities. Like, I think it works better when it's them dealing with their characters. But uh, with someone like Paris Hilton... The message they're trying to implement. I could understand it. I'm like, okay, I, I did it. I did it, guys. I did why. I'll, I'll let this slide. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, thanks once again, Edward. Take care, people, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.